Okay. All right, so I did not go, I didn't do my power walk this morning, so yeah. So I'm gonna give my legs a small break because I'm like, oh, my, this is starting to hurt me right here. So I'm gonna give myself a little break. I'll probably do a workout tonight and then I'll do my power walk tomorrow in the morning. Okay, so I don't have a lot of tissues this morning, so. And I, I ate a lot of ice cream and cake yesterday, which I shouldn't have. That was, I'm gonna pay for that. <laughs> I know I am. I work it off. I work it off. It's a matter, matter. Not a lot. Oh, what do you call it? Dishes. Yeah, I just I I made that strawberry cake. And, um, and then I went to go buy some hot. I went to go buy some ice cream, some ice cream for the kids. I don't even think they touched it. Well, I bought them snacks too, you know, and I told them no snacks during the week, but just trying to be nice. And I said, okay, let me go get them a few snacks. But I do have to get, you know, um, fruits and fruits and stuff like that. So I definitely have to do that. And cold cuts. I need cold cuts. So this is kind of late. I really don't do dishes this late because I do it early in the morning. But um, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, and I usually feed them. Feed the dog. My dog wasn't feeling good. He, I, I gave him some cold chicken and he got really sick. So I have to be careful. He was just throwing up everywhere. So I said, okay, I won't do that again. And, and then I said, okay, you know, so I Googled it and tried to figure out, you know, what to do. And um, just have to give them um, increments of food during the day. And well, I can't give him water. He has to, you know, he has to drink water, which he did. And then I'll just make him a, I'll just make him a beef burger later. At least he's eating. I did give him a few pieces of the leftover chicken soup that I had. And I did warm it up. I warmed it up this time. And he ate it. I just want to see if, it, if I just gave it to him, so I'm going to see if he can hold it down. So far, so good. I haven't been hearing any puke anymore. Uh, but um, he did drink water, so I'm happy about that. And uh, I knew he had an upset stomach. He didn't, he didn't eat, you know, for two days, so I'm like, something's wrong. And finally, today, he finally ate. And then you know when there something's wrong when they're when they're not active, you know they look all droopy. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to play. You know something's wrong. So yeah, so I'm just like I said, I'm just gonna make them a, a hamburger patty, and and then I'll. I don't know, probably give me whatever we have for dinner tonight. I don't know, we'll see. As long as it's, it's long, as long as it's meat. You know, something with a little bit of flavor. Or I'll just give him another hamburger, I don't know, until he gets back into his, his regular, you know, food, you know, which, you know, to his, his cans, the ones I always open every morning. I'll show you that too, okay? I'll show you what, you know, what I give him. It's what it, what is it called? It's these. It's pedigree. And uh, it's, it's with beef, ground. He likes, he doesn't like, 
anything that's whole. That's a, that's funny because he'll eat, you know, chicken pieces and everything else, beef pieces. But when it comes to the canned beef cubes, he won't eat that. I find that strange. But he doesn't really care too much for the beef. He does like the chicken. But I think I grabbed one case that was all beef. So I have one that has beef and chicken. So I'm going to have to open the other one and give him, give him the chicken tomorrow. And there's nothing wrong with his barking. So I know he's fine. Okay, guys, there we go. He's probably saw a little doggy, a little zoomy out there. Okay. Okay, and that's it for the dishes. I really, I really didn't have a whole lot this time, so yeah. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. So, um, I went out uh, earlier today to do my my power walk. But what happened was that it started drizzling. And, and since I don't like, I really don't like wearing wet clothes, I said, well, maybe I could just power through it and just let the rain fall on me and whatever. It just started, you know, drizzling. And I was like, nah, I don't want to come back into the house feeling all wet, you know, from, from being drenched and then trying to finish my in door workout and I'm just gonna feel awful so I say you know what I'm just gonna scrap it I only did I only did a half a mile that was that was it it was just one lap and that that was it so I say you know forget it tomorrow's another day so I just you know I left left it alone so I said eh, I'll just do my workout you know um tonight before I go to bed but, and I was going to leave everything on. I go, well, it's supposed to be drying up um, later on. It's, the sun's already coming out. By 2 o'clock, it's supposed to be clear. Do I want to put everything back on? I don't think so. So I'm like, nah, um, that, it's it. It's over. It's done. I'm, I'm not going to put all that back on. Plus, the, all the kids will be home and everybody will be up and at them. So I'm like, nah, I'll just wait till tomorrow. But I am eating the leftover, um, I think it was the, the um, I don't know what this one was, but this was yesterday's with the spinach. And this one over here is chicken parmesan. I knew it tasted like it, so this is really, really good. I was going to make an egg, but I said, nah, it's just a little bit too much, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And then all I'm drinking is some, some sweet tea. i got to buy some more. I didn't think this tasted this good. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up buying some more. So yeah, I'm gonna try to stay away from coffee a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's just too hot to drink coffee in the morning right now. So I'm like, no, I'll just wait wait either to the afternoon or in, until it cools off a little bit. But yeah, I'm like, no, nah, I'm just gonna stay away from coffee for a while. Um. I'm also staying away from orange juice. So, so this is what I'm having now. And then I am, I am going to end up making, um, let me see if I can see the time on here. Okay. I am going to end up making some spaghetti uh, for the yeah. kids for dinner. You know, really, really wasn't sure what I was going to make. Yeah, my soup, my chicken soup that I made the other day, it did not come out right. Something happened. I got to learn how to put fresh vegetables in there. I think the celery was a little old, and it just threw off the whole thing. And I was like, yeah, we're not going to do that again. When you're going to cook something, make sure you have Don't fresh dash. veggies at all time. I just thought maybe I could just, you know, Where's it was only a, a little bit of um, of, of the celery stalks left. I said, eh, it still looks okay. I'm going to give it a go. No, never do that again.
it just made the um the what do you call it the chicken come out terrible I mean, we still ate it I still ate it but right now I'm just gonna take out the chicken and give that to the dog if he wants to eat it I will take all the vegetables out and everything though the potatoes said he won't eat that but the chicken is still good although he hasn't been eating well lately so I don't know maybe it's too hot I don't know okay so I am going to finish this I'm still just trying to see the time here <laughs> the only way I can see it Okay. And my table is white, and the numbers are white, so I can barely see them. So I'm gonna finish this up, and I'm um, gonna be making some flour tortillas because my grandson requested it. <laughs> so I'll be doing that later, and then I'm probably gonna end up just doing some reading and writing um through throughout the day. And I really need to look at my coupons. I haven't. I haven't looked at any of that, so we'll see what we have or what we can do. Might even go to CBS. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys. I guess then my central air is not working really well here, so when I cook in the kitchen, it's really, it's hot in here. Plus, right now, I'm cooking some flour tortillas. I just burned one with getting the camera. <laughs> uh, almost. And I finally got one that came out round, finally. Finally! I was like, does anybody know how to roll out these flowers tips and make them uh, round instead of making them look like, uh, what is that called? Um, all crooked and, and everything. I'm like, I don't know how they do it. It's just driving me nuts. But, I think I got it now. <laughs> oh, that's just crazy. Okay, so I got another one that came out pretty round as well. So I always put them in here. I gotta buy one of those little, I think they call it like one of those tortilla, um, like they're wood or something. I mean, they're mostly for corn tortillas, but I use them, I'll probably use them for these. So what I do, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to see if I can put you guys on this side. I don't have one of those, um, a grill one. I just have, I just heat up a pan. And what I do is that I grab the tortilla and I just throw it in there. And then to make it like to really, really cook, I put this on top. Because it's almost like a cake kind of a thing. If you have like something covered, it will it will cook faster. I'm also um, making spaghetti right now because you're always in the kitchen, always multitasking. I took these out because once I'm done with this pan, I'm going to put this pan back on the bottom and then put all those on top of this one because this is the bigger one. So right now, that's my last tortilla, thank God. Oh, baby's hot. Let me get a minute. It's like you have to have like 100, 105 mittens. <laughs> It's hot in this kitchen. In there. And let me check how this last one is doing. Oh, shoot. I better turn it down this up for a second. I don't want to burn the noodles. Oh, look at that. Almost came out like a cake. But anyway, it's not supposed to be this. But, you know, 
the last one of all of them comes out to be the best. I don't know why. Okay, so this one's done. And so I already got the ground beef. Let me see if I could put you guys just a little bit over on this side. You can see what I'm doing. What do I have over here? Are those the pans? I don't know what we're, what we're seeing. Um, okay. You need to make no business. <sighs> ah, got it. Okay, so of course I got the, let me just I'll put this here. This handle out of the way. Oh, that baby was burning. I'm gonna put the sauce in here. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with this. Let me put you guys on this side like I always do. This way you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So this is done. That's done. Put the top back down here. Then I put this in the in the plastic little bag that I just showed you. the ground beef. I already browned um, the ground beef already, so that's already done. Okay. Yeah, and things like this, I really don't care, you know, to... Um, to drink coffee because it's just it's just too hot so that's filling up And usually in here, I always add salt. Because sometimes even though you add, you know, the ragu, it's just, I don't know, there just doesn't seem to be enough flavor. And I do add And I added just a little bit of Italian seasoning, just a dash, and then I just mix everything up. Let me turn this down. Yeah, let me turn that down. It's too high. So, uh, put the light on in there. So this is what the kids are having. I think I had mentioned that earlier because I wasn't sure, and it is really hot outside today. So, I was supposed to buy chicken wings. I was supposed to make chicken cacciatore, and I completely forgot. So, I'm going to put that down on my list so I can get some. Thank God I didn't do it this week. It's just too hot. So, I do like chicken cacciatore. I used to make it a lot. But then I'm going to look up a recipe just to remind myself how to do it, but for basic you know you just get chicken wings you fry them up a little bit in oil take them out you saute the vegetables and it's the same thing you know you just add all your different whatever kind of spices and sauce and you're done but i'm going to look up a, a recipe so i can make sure I'm, I'm doing it the right way okay so spaghetti is done 
that's done. I don't know where we're at right now. I can never nine. Okay, so I am just gonna wash these dishes and the tortillas are done. Oh, my grandson loves these things, so they're all done. There's a whole bunch of them. I think there's more, like a little bit, like a dozen or a little bit more, but yeah, they're all done. He likes them with butter and salt, so so does my other son. So I'm gonna try. I don't have a lot of dishes, but just to get them out of the way. Probably run to the store and go get some pot for the kids or something because it, it's just hot. Trying to finish my um, my crochet square throw. Still working on that. And we got like seven um, seven more strips to go. No, one, two, three, four, no, five. We got five more strips to go, and then I'll be done. And then I want to work on those cozies because I really need those. I keep putting my hand on uh, every time I take something out from the microwave. So I definitely want to work, work on that next. You just have water in here. Yeah, I never let the dishes pile up. I try real hard not to. But the last the last thing you want, you know, a pile of dishes. Yeah, if you're by yourself, I can see it happening, but I wouldn't recommend it either because bugs and flies, food, especially if you eat food on the plate and you don't come back until the next day. Yeah, you're gonna have little Visitors crawling all over your table. So that Parmesan chicken I had this morning was really good. One more spoon. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to clean the counters and then I will put all the pans away. And, um, yeah, that's it. And we are good to go. Alright. I'll clean the table in a minute. Okay, guys, it's hot. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm at the park right now and it's like really, I mean, it is like really hot out here today. I mean, it's not like, you know, in other places, I heard that in Florida or somewhere it's 125. Yeah, we're not there yet. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, this is the park I run around. This is it. I run around this whole park in, in the morning. <laughs> I'm out here with my grandson right now because he wanted to come out here for a little while. I'm like, I feel the heat. I feel the heat already. Um, it cooled down a little bit, but not a whole lot because it did, it did thunderstorm. I think I mentioned that earlier. It was thunderstorming. I mean, it was really loud this morning. But um, after like at around two o'clock, the, the the sun started coming out, so everything was okay after that. But I'm like, no, I'm not gonna put. Out, I mean, I feel sticky as it is. I'm like, I'm dying either to go into the sprinkler or I'm gonna take a shower when I get home. One thing I cannot. Let me tell you, I one thing I cannot do. Okay. 
I cannot stand feeling like sticky. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. And because our um, our central air is not working, it's like it's like minimal minimal air that's coming out through the vents. So and yeah, the landlord the landlord was telling saying that it costs too much to fix, and I was saying like, whatever, you know. But at the same time, we're like you know we're dying of heat here, you know. But um. I really felt bad because I did have um, an AC, uh, one that you put in the window, but I ended up throwing it out. <laughs> and uh, these days, I mean, it's not that the ACs are really expensive, but they're like 160 almost to close to $200. So I was like, with the, we can sleep okay. You know, before we go to bed, you know, as long as we all take showers, we're good. We're, we're good. Even when we wake up in the morning, it feels nice and cool. We even put covers on ourselves because, like I said before, no one's moving. No one's moving in the house. So the, the, the cold air that's coming up will, will hit all of us. It's when we're all up. When we're all up and we're, we're moving about and we have the stove going or the oven going and that's when the heat builds up that the apartment starts getting hot. But when we're at, when we're all asleep and everything's at a, at a standstill, we, we literally have to cover ourselves in the morning because we wake up chilly. We wake up cold. <laughs> which is a good thing <laughs> we just have to deal with uh, the during the day thing <laughs> but um yeah so i couldn't again i couldn't um i couldn't run uh do my power walk this morning so i was kind of like really like i wasn't upset about it but i really was looking forward to it but i'm like hopefully it won't rain tomorrow in the morning and when, when you have that you know that oh my god what is it called that what is it called your, your uh your power walking gear on and it, it's hard to get off it's hard to get off putting it on is easy but when you're trying to pull it off you it's it's really rough so I'm like you know I don't think I want to go through that you know at this at this hour late at night so I say you know what I'm I'm just gonna save it for another day guys another day I'll be fine <laughs> okay guys I am going to let you go right now and we will see you tomorrow in the morning bye oh.